Some of you, of course, do worry about snow. Nothing around here now on Storm Tracker 4. Uh, we'll just move the map here down to the northwest and we'll show you that uh, you know, we have a band of snow with the front. And believe me, when the front gets here, there could be a, a period where you have some pretty heavy snow squalls, but they're going to be brief. They're not going to last more than a half an hour, an hour, something of that nature, and then they're gone. So we're looking at less than an inch of snow tonight. Snow is not the concern, the wind is. So let's break this down for you with the computer model. First of all, we'll talk about the front and the snow timing, and then we'll talk about the wind with the uh, other computer model. So here you see these uh, little snow squalls here with the front. At midnight, the front is just approaching the northwestern part of the area. By 1 o'clock, this is a fast mover. You can see how fast it's, it's traveling across the area. By 1 o'clock, it's basically across the middle of the area here, and then by 2 o'clock, it's on the east side by three o'clock in the morning. This thing is already well to our east in Ontario. So once that goes through, the snow showers end and tomorrow we're gonna have lots of clouds, but a generally dry day. I mean, you can't rule out a flurry, but generally a dry day with lots of clouds. And then we clear out tomorrow evening for your Saturday evening plans. A few uh, clouds come in overnight Saturday night, but those go away in time for Sunday. Look at this, all this sunshine, lots of May sun and blue sky for Sunday. But the difference between the two days will be temperature, which I'll show you in a second. All right. By 11 o'clock tonight, the winds are going to be gusting 45 to 50 miles per hour, maybe even above 50 miles per hour. So we're looking at potential power outages tonight. And so make sure you join us on our online newscast at 10 and also on Local 4 Plus and also at 11. We're on at 11 o'clock tonight. This thing will be happening at that time. So join us then. We'll give you the latest. By tomorrow morning, after the front goes through, you notice how the uh, winds start getting back down to just normal windy conditions. Temps tonight dropping down into the teens and then tomorrow with that cold air coming in behind the front, we only rise into the low 20s with all that cloud cover. Wind chill tomorrow will be in the single digits. And then the next uh, items of note is Monday night into Tuesday, a possible wintry mix. It's too early to try and get into any details. And then also another one of those types of storms, perhaps Thursday night into Friday. So other than that, temperatures notice uh, for at least the first part of the week are quite mild, guys.